Hi, this is Patrick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Bootstrap in Dreamweaver CC. Bootstrap is basically a new way that Dreamweaver wants you to create responsive design websites. Those are websites that will adjust regardless of the device, so whether it's a desktop or a tablet or mobile. So if I go to File New in Dreamweaver CC, and I'm in the, I believe this is the 2015 version, so I can go to HTML and so I can use no framework or I can use the bootstrap and so in this case I'm going to use the bootstrap I'm just going to hit create new and I'm going to say include a pre-built layout these layouts you know you can start with nothing and then start adding the elements or you can start with one and delete it's really up to you what works best you also have the ability to customize some things so it might be that you want your small medium and large screens to be a little different but I'm going to hit create and it's basically saying I already have this bootstrap CSS. Do I want to, you know, override it? And I say yes. And so they do two CSS files with this. So, so I'm just going to call this bootstrap example. And I'm going to put it in my file with my bootstrap CSS. And so this bootstrap example is the one where I'm going to actually add my CSS. But you can see that basically it gives you all of this stuff. And so you can switch in live view. Or design view um, if you want to get a better idea of everything that it starts you with now you know different people will find it's easier to start with you know a basic page and then to add stuff or whether they'd prefer to delete stuff so I'm very comfortable with using Dreamweaver's fluid grid layout which at least right now just to show you that they still offer down here but it says legacy which really to me means code word that it will be gone soon um, but be aware that you know there is that option to create responsive design sites and that's something I'm very comfortable with so I'm getting adjusted to using bootstrap here myself and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save this as an HTML file and I'm just gonna save this in my 502 folder and so now what I want to do is you know, I get a basic idea when I go to live view what this is going to look like. So I'm going to delete some of this stuff that I don't really feel like I need. Now, I've never been a big fan of the live view, but you can see how I can right click and I can delete that and that got rid of that. I can right click on this, delete this. And so basically what I'm going to do is just leave this one column here. And so I'm going to delete this delete that and you can just see I'm slowly oops so I'm gonna undo it all right so I deleted a little more than I wanted there but um, so and you can always you know make right select down there and then that would give you a better feel I don't know there might be another way to delete this that I'm just haven't learned yet but right now right so at this point what I've done is I've created a Three column where I can put, let's say, you know, Bootstrap with Dreamweaver could be my page site. Here, my brand could be, you know, Patrick Lowenthal. And then I could do a few things over here where I might be like, you know, I don't need all of this um, navigation. It um, and so you can see it actually got rid of something there. So I'm going to undo that. Um, and so over here, once again, I can start selecting things. All right, let's say that actually I want to delete that form. And so I'm going to click over here, make sure I have what I wanted. And sometimes you can go bigger and be like, nope, that's not really it. It's really here. So let's delete that. And I'm going to do the drop down here. Okay, so now this, I'm just going to, and once I'm at this point, if, if you're more comfortable, you can just look over here and you can you know start to rather than link maybe this will be page one and actually that's page two and I can't type so we'll say page two and if I go on up I can see the link there for page one okay so now let's save this and preview it okay so this is my basic page that I have right now and what is nice about this is you can see that it starts to adjust to a tablet view or mobile view and you can see that it builds in your navigation up here so then it's really just a matter of adjusting the text the way you want it 
and working within this layout. What's nice about this is it basically gives me this three column layout exactly how I want it. So in this case, I could definitely, you know, adjust some of this. I could, you know, take a look at and see to get a better feel of how they're doing this. So in this case, you know, I have this div class row and in that row it has this text center column all right and so you can start to get a feel for the way that they set this up but it could be that you know I don't really want let's say an H heading tag in my footer um, and so I could go ahead and adjust that I could add my information if I wanted to I could still do you know other options such as the copyright And if you like to, you can always go back to design mode too. So it's something that, you know, historically I've been a little more comfortable. You notice how my website done here, right? So you definitely want to spend time getting to know this, essentially this type of template. So I'm gonna save all, and at this point I'm gonna take one more preview. Okay, so I can start adding some dummy text if I want. I think sometimes getting dummy text really just helps kind of get a better feel of how the page is going to adjust. And so I can do here, I can even, you know, add a couple paragraphs. And this is just, you know, one site. There's, there's obviously lots of sites out there. You can adjust Word and I can even display the paragraph tag. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm gonna jump back in here. find where this is and I'm going to put that in and do the same thing here and I'm going to keep going down now obviously you know different sites have a different amount of text so you might find different columns you don't need it quite like this but this still works to give you an idea so I'm going to do one more save and preview and then we're going to start adding some CSS but you can get an idea where you'd have your title you have your links your navigation and it adjusts pretty good now you could play around with moving this and doing other things but you know you especially notice how nice this navigation is having it right appear like this so that's one of the nice things about this default bootstrap layout so let's go over to CSS designer and we really want to work in, and it, see how it even says read only, which is nice. I didn't notice that before, but we want to do bootstrap. And then, you know, just like if you've been doing other things where I can, you know, I can definitely bring this over a little. I can click on my body tag and I can click selector. It shows up and get rid of the paragraph. I'm going to come down here and let's see what I want to do I'm gonna do background color okay so and I could adjust other things if I wanted to but you know right now this works pretty good so then I want to sit there and you know take a look at this container and these are things that I could adjust the size in some ways you don't want to adjust it too much because it works as is really good um, but I'm gonna click on Let's try that once more. I'm going to click on selector. So container, it's set up as a class in this case. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change this background image to white. So I could go up here and let's make sure. All right, I'm at the row level. And the problem is there, it could be doing it to multiple rows. So this is where you can just try to figure out, or it could be that you actually want to, you know, add a background to that. But let's just see what happens. And this is really kind of experimental as you go through here and see, is it really kind of the effect that you want? And you might find that it's not, and then you just go through and change it. All right. So let's see what if that adds the effect I want. And it really doesn't. And so, you know, sometimes I still like to preview 
just to get a good feel and see it knows how it didn't show me um, in Dreamweaver but I kind of suspected that something would be going on and so you can always switch from live view and that sometimes will show you things you didn't see but let's let's just kind of work with this for a minute all right so we already have this up here so now this is where I might go to font and you know change my font to white and so you know the bottom line is have some fun with this play with this you know be aware that you know some things aren't going to work exactly the way that you expect you know and you know you still have the other layouts and if you even google bootstrap you'll find a lot of other things i just wanted to give you a real good feel of how you would do this so now if i wanted to do my second page let's say i was really happy with that um this layout i might go ahead and you know create my second page and then i would double click or if i'm going to actually just go to live view i find sometimes live view just works better Okay, let's go up here and let's find, all right, so there's, I'm just going to type this in, page page1.html, and I'm going to do the same thing on this next page, and so basically I'm just creating these links. And what I noticed, which I didn't notice before, is it looks like this drop down still here that I really don't want. And so that is something that I think could be removed, and so I'll have to double check. But while we're here, what I'm looking for is page one. Okay. And then I'm going to jump back here, and I'm going to do the same thing for page two. And just like I said before, I noticed this drop down that I thought I'd deleted, I hadn't. So now I'm going to really make sure I delete that. So I don't really need that there. I'm going to do page two. And notice how at this point I've not created page two, but I know what I'm going to call it. So I can go ahead and add the link. It's basically kind of a chicken and egg, you know, which one you do first. But let's go back up here and do this. And you can notice that there's definitely some errors here that it's not happy with some of the code. So you definitely want to spend some time figuring out, okay, is it this extra li? What What is it not happy with? So I have my nav bar, ul, right? And then it has li, ends, li, ends. So it could be that it doesn't need this. And really, it might not need this. Alright, and so that seemed to fix the error. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to do a save as page two because I want that second page to be called that. And whenever you do it this way, you really want to be careful on how you name it and make sure you do it exactly right. But so let's go up and see if I have any code errors here. I just look for those red numbers. I don't see anything. So what I'm going to do is close these and I'm going to do one last preview. Okay, so now this is my page one, page there, page two. And, you know, really when I'm working on this, what I'll often do is I might add a clear heading that basically tells me, um, you know, the difference between each pages. So it could be, and right now I'm just going to put this up here, but this might not be the best place. So I'm going to put in H2, and I'm going to just copy that save it and I'm gonna open my page one and I'm gonna go down under that row so I'm putting my text here I'm gonna call this page one and obviously and I hope it's obvious you'd want to name these something a little more meaningful but um, for the sake of this example I hope this is helpful All right so then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add page two so I'm gonna save all go back to my example which is really my home page in this example and okay so that's home that's page one and you can see I'd probably want to adjust some padding and make this work a little better but you see how that works and I can check my navigation here so the home page isn't quite working so and you can even see that had a zoom effect but um, 
page two works, all right? So some fun tweaking as always, but hopefully this gave you a nice introduction to how you would use Bootstrap in a way that you could create a three column layout with a responsive design pretty quick and easy. Thanks.